first. So let's start with question four. Question four is with a neat label diagram, describe the parts of a typical angiospermic ovule. So what you need to do is we need to draw an ovule and then describe its part. So we have funicle, which is a stalk-like structure, then the attachment of funicle and entanglement or the placenta is hilum, then goes raphe and entanglement. So let's start from outside to the inside. So we need to draw an inverted ovules, inverted U sort of a structure. Okay, so we here this becomes your funicle. Now, this is a stock like structure, and from where the funicle is attached to the placenta is known as hilum. So, this becomes your hilum. Now, there are two inguments. So, this becomes your Inguent. This and this is your inguent. Inner body is mucellus. Now, ovule has two poles. The this pole is known as micropyle pole, and this pole is known as chalazal pole. So, this is an inverted ovule. That's the reason chalazal pole is at the top. And the micropolar region is at the bottom. Now, students, remember at the micropolar region, we have okay. Now there is an embryo set within the ovule. At the micropolar region, we have got two cells which are known as synergics and one egg cell. So these are synergics, and this is an egg cell. This entire structure is an embryo. Sec. Okay. Now, at the chalazal end, we have got antipodal cells here. These are three cells which are known as antipodal cells. So, label this as antipodal cell. Mucellus is formed of parenchymatous tissue as it is a um, cell body and um, it provides nutrition. So this is how you are supposed to show a parenchymatous structure. Students, remember that when you are drawing a diagram, it should be scientifically correct. Okay. You, you do not need to make a very defined diagram, etc, etc. Don't waste much time on drawing what it is. But take your time to label it. Okay. Now an extension of funicle is known as Raphae. So this over here is Raphae. So I guess we are done with our diagram. So we have got a funicle, funicle, hilum, hilum. Antipodal cells are here. Raphae, Raphae, chalazal end, chalazal end, micropyle end, micropyle end, egg, egg cells over here, embryo cell. Embryo set, entanglements, entanglements, and mucellus. So, students, we are done with our diagram. Whenever you draw a diagram, write a label at the end of the diagram of what the exact diagram is. So, this is a structure of an ovule. You are supposed to always write this. Okay, students, so this is your diagram and you're done with the diagram. Now, going ahead, we need to describe the parts of the angiospermic ovule. So, the parts of angiospermic ovule will go like, an angiospermic ovule is typically ovoid in shape. Ovoid means somewhat, which is oval. Color, whitish. The ovule is stalked. Stalk means it has a structure holding it. Now, the stalk is called the funiculus or funicule. So, depending upon the configuration and orientation of the body of ovule in relation to the funiculus, the typical ovule is 
entrepose. Now, entrepose over here means inward take. Okay. In, in the previous diagram which we drew, the ovule was what? Inward take. So, you can also write inward take. Going ahead. The following are the parts of a typical angiospermic ovule. Let's see what the parts are. Parts go like funicle. Number one, funicle. Funicle is what? The ovule is attached to the placenta by slender stalk called funicle. The point of attachment of ovule to the funicle is known as hilum. Sometimes the funicle extends beyond the hilum forming the ridge known as raphe. So we heard we are done with funicle, hilum and raphe. So three of our labels are done. So what is oh, what is funicle? Funicle is a stalk like structure which attaches the ovule to the placenta. Then the point of attachment is known as what? Hilum and lastly the extension of hilum is known as raphe. Now going further we have integuments. Now the ovule becomes surrounded by two multicellular protective coverings or envelopes known as integuments. Integuments is incomplete at the apex known as micropyle end. And the base of ovule is known as chalazal end. So, these are the outer structure. If this is the outer structure, this is incomplete. And this end over here is known as micropyle end. And this end is known as chalazal end. Okay. The nucellus is the body of ovule. Consists of parenchymatous uh, tissue rich in reserve of food material. As it's the body, it stores energy and it is rich in food material. And lastly, we have the embryo sac. Now, embryo sac is centrally located. Female gametophyte embedded in the nucleus. It contains how many cells? Students, it contains seven cells. Okay, three are antipodal cells at the chalazal end and three at the micropyle end of which two become synergics and one become Excel and there is one centrally large cell. The central cell contains two polar nuclei which fuses to form secondary nucleus. Students, this is important. Remember that the embryo cell is centrally located female gametophyte and it has seven cells out of which three are located at the chalazal cell. Chalazal end, which are antipodal cells, and three are located at the micropyle end. At the micropyle end, we have got two synergics and one egg cell, and one cell is centrally located, which is the central nucleus, and it has two fused nuclei. Okay, two polar nuclei. Okay, students, so we are done with our question four. Question four was. Meet and label diagram and we have described its four important parts.